I love watching birds. I love all of their colors and all of their songs, and I'm always looking for ways to attract more of them to my yard. In this video, I'm gonna share just a few birding fundamentals with you. So to start with, there are three basic things you can give the birds to keep them coming back. Fresh water to drink and to bathe in, plenty of cover for them to nest and to hide in, and a variety of quality foods to eat. When it comes to water, birds get most of what they need from rainwater and dew. But add a convenient water source, like a bird bath or a water feature to your landscape, and you'll attract a larger number and variety. Next, all birds need cover to nest, to hide from predators, and to protect them from the weather. Even if your yard is small, a mixture of trees, shrubs, and hedgerows can give them hiding places in the summer and storm protection in the winter. Nest boxes or bird houses can encourage birds to stay near your home and raise their families. Oh, and one other thing, if you want to attract birds to your yard, it's best to keep your cat in the house. Then there's food. Year-round, nothing works better to attract birds than the right food and feeders. It's especially true in areas like this, where harsh winters can make natural food sources difficult to find. Plus, birds burn more calories to stay warm in the winter, like chickadees that have to eat 20 times more in the winter than they do in the summer. Now, birds eat a wide range of foods depending on the season and availability. Lowe's carries a large selection, and the packages list which birds each food attracts. It's best to buy quality food like black oil sunflower seed, safflower seed, or thistle, or seed mixes that contain these and other nutritious ingredients like millet and cracked corn. Some birds prefer suet, fruit, or peanuts. Now, the seed mixes are popular because different blends are available to attract a wide variety of birds. Just be sure to choose ones that don't have a lot of fillers that the birds won't eat. Here's a tip. When you're storing your seed, keep it cool and dry in a metal container that will keep out mice and squirrels. So let's talk feeders. Some birds feed on the ground, others feed in shrubs, and still others higher up in trees. So if you want to attract a variety of birds, locate feeders with different foods at different levels. Now, tray or platform feeders can be located near the ground or higher up, and they're really great for efficiently feeding many different species. Mounted several inches from the ground like this, they can attract cardinals, sparrows, juncos, towhees, and others. And also, seed placed on a platform doesn't spoil as quickly as seed placed on the ground. When they're mounted higher, platform feeders are a safe place for lots of birds to feed, and they can be used with many different foods. When filled with a fruit and nut blend, they can attract woodpeckers, nuthatches, and buntings. Mount the feeders in an open area at least 10 feet away from trees and shrubs. This will give the birds a chance to flee from predators. This is a tube feeder. If you're going to have just one type of feeder in your yard, it's probably the best choice. Fill it with black oil sunflower seed or a no-mess blend and you'll attract many birds like chickadees and sparrows and titmice. Hang it at least five feet from the ground. House or hopper feeders are also mounted at that height. Now, the great thing about hoppers is that they can keep several pounds of mixed seed ready for hungry birds. Just be sure that the seed doesn't go bad. Now, when you're using mixed seed blends with sunflower seeds, safflower, and peanuts, you can see many different species, like finches, chickadees, cardinals, and buntings. Thistle seed is a favorite of small-beaked finches, such as goldfinch, housefinch, purple finch, or pine siskin. These feeders are made specifically for thistle seed or small bird blends. You can hang them from a tree or a pole. Suet feeders can be placed up in trees for birds that feed higher off the ground. Now, these feeders are mostly used in the winter because suet can spoil quickly above 70 degrees, but it can be an important winter food for titmice, chickadees, nuthatches, and woodpeckers. For a lot of people, summer just wouldn't be the same without hummingbirds. Feeding them can be critical to their survival, especially in the winter when they double their body mass before migration. Hummingbirds eat nectar through their long bills, which is why you need a special feeder. Hang the feeder in the shade to keep the nectar from spoiling. Think about hanging any of your feeders within three feet of a window. The birds will quickly get comfortable enough to feed and you'll be able to watch them up close. And also it's a safety thing. Birds often get confused by reflections in windows and can fly into them. But with the feeders so close, they can't really get up enough speed to hurt themselves. 
Now, if squirrels are a nuisance, here are a couple of suggestions. Make it hard for them to reach the feeders. Mount them on poles at least five feet off the ground and more than six feet from any trees. Baffles can keep them from climbing up. And finally, maintain your feeders regularly. Keep your food fresh. Creating a bird-friendly environment isn't so hard. And when you do, your yard will be a more delightful place for you and a more nurturing place for them. For more ideas on how to make your yard the best it can be, see our other videos at lowes.com slash videos.